Mr. Twingley, why don't you stay late tonight? Mr. Twingley, why don't you finish the Johnson report over the weekend? You just keep pushing one day, I'll just quit! Just like that, I'm just gonna quit. One day. Keep pushing. Damn it! My dad changed the locks again. Come on, Dad, I know you're in there. You never leave the house anymore. Get the cat off the TV! Yeah, okay. Dad, uh, thanks for changing the locks on me, all right? I'm sorry, do I know you? <laughs> yeah, real funny, Dad. You don't know me. You don't know me, all right. Uh, can you get out of the way? I just want to watch some TV. I'm not in the mood for this tonight. Are you okay, sir? What do you mean, am I okay, sir? <laughs> Am I okay? You, my father, are asking me, your son. That's real rich, Dad, real rich. I don't know you. Get off my property. Get the dog off my chair. Come on. All right, Dad, don't close the, close the door. All right, look, I'm coming back. I know I'm talking to a door. I know I'm talking to a door. Thanks a lot, Dad. Look, I'm going to Tim's now, but when I get back, you better let me in. I'm not in the mood for this tonight. Submitted for your approval. You're looking at Mr. John Twingley, a man who carries on his shoulder a chip the size of the national debt. This is a sour man, a lonely man, a grasping, nervous, compulsive man. This is a man who's lived 36 uneventful, meaningless, pointless, failure-laden years. Look, hey, Henry, who, who are you, all right? Uh, and why are you talking about me? Look, I, I've had plenty of success uh, late in years, right? Just because I live at home with my parents and I hate my job, look, who are you talking to? He's not supposed to be talking to me right now. Who are you talking to? What is going on here? Well, Mr. John Twingley, you're in. You unlock the door with the key of imagination. Beyond it is another dimension. A dimension of sight, a dimension of sound, a dimension of mind. You're about to enter a world of both shadow and substance. Dimension of sight, sound. Oh my God. That's the beginning of the Twilight Zone. Am I in the Twilight Zone? You're not supposed to be talking to me right now, but yes, you're in the Twilight Zone. Oh my god. That is... Amazing! So what happens? Am I a robot? I'm totally a robot. <laughs> Man, it's like every time you guys, a robot <laughs> episode, you know? It's like... Can anyone ha help me with this? So... Um, all right, all right, I got it, I got it. Uh, okay, so I turn down the street, right? I turn into a kid again, I get to live life the right way, huh? <laughs> huh? 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 Anybody, please? This, that's not fair. That's not fair at all. And all the time now. All the time I need it. Get it? I'm that old guy, you know, from that episode where uh, he's the only guy left in the world and all he wants to do is read books. And, uh, <laughs> you guys break his glasses. Man, that is so messed up. <laughs> No, Holy crack pipe, it's Ron Sterling! I know, I'm on the Twilight Zone! What? Oh, dude! Wait, are you a robot? That's what I said! They want robots! Fuck oh, yeah, they do! Awesome! Dude, oh, oh, yeah! Yes. Oh, I got it! My whole life is in a snow globe. Yeah, 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 yeah! Yo, his whole life is in a snow globe, and like, he's trying to get out of this town, so he, he's walking in the snow, he keeps walking and walking, and then he gets to the end and it's like, glass! And there's like a little kid playing with his town, like it's in the snow globe. No, you're not in a snow globe. But we could change it so he is in the snow globe. Look, can anybody help me, please? Like, then what is it? Look, I'm not supposed to tell you this. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, am I an alien? No, no. All right. Uh, am I a ghost? Damn it, I'm a ghost. Did I die 10 years ago or something? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, damn it. No, no, you didn't die 10 years ago. Look. I'm not supposed to tell you this. That's not good. Oh, man. Oh, I know it. We're not on Earth, right? You, we're not on Earth, you don't tell me at the end of the episode. No, look. Look, I shouldn't do this because it's not kosher, but... You die of a heart attack. Heart attack? Lame. I don't know where to twist there. In five, four, it's like it's like heart three. Attack. Jump the shark. Oh, come on, heart attack. Oh, my God, John! 
The twist is you die of a heart attack because you are a robot. And your robot heart only lasts 36 years. Oh, God, I knew it was a robot! Every time! Oh, man. I love robot episodes. Yeah. Whatever. Thank you.